The students at Frontier High School is alleging discrimination. They say the first gay-straight alliance meeting of the new year was met with hate. 17's Karen Waugh spoke with a Frontier High School student and shares his thoughts. The alleged incident involved members of the school's Gay Street Alliance Club, and it's been a hot topic of discussion among parents and students. We want school to feel like a safer place, and I'm starting to feel less and less like that. In a Facebook post last week, a Frontier High parent said the first Gay Street Alliance meeting of the new school year was met with hate. The post claimed several students with the Future Farmers of America confronted the alliance, holding Make America Great Again flags. According to the Post, several straight students also held hands and yelled, this is what's right. Organizations like the GSA can give some students like that who may be like questioning their sexuality a place to get support. And for then something like the incident at Frontier to happen, it takes that away. The National Future Farmers of America organization reacted to the alleged incident on Instagram. Their statement reads in part, anyone who intimidates, discriminates, or bullies another person or group does not represent the values of the FFA. The current high school district also released a statement saying, students have varying views and opinions. One of the goals of the educational process is to teach students how to communicate respectfully with each other. At a board meeting Wednesday, two school district trustees said eight students were suspended for several days. We know that the administration had solved it, but we wanted to try to create a solution and recommend to the board a way to prevent future problems. Nicholas Lopez and his peers proposed a district-wide student-led committee to address discrimination and promote sensitivity training in the future. I think it's more on educating like students about how to be inclusive rather than, like I guess, trying to control speech. So what better time to roll out pride in the classroom than after that incident? As a result, PFLAG in Baker Field formally launched Pride in the Classroom. Thursday evening, the program offered free LGBTQ materials like rainbow flags to schools in Kern County to encourage more inclusive environments. We can give them the tools necessary so that they can do more, so that they can reach out to their children. PFLAG meets at the First Congregational Church and all meetings are open to the public. I'm Karen Wall, 17 News.